Okay, why can God not bless America? Number one, we have degraded the most precious gift God ever gave to mankind, and that is woman. And we've degraded woman through pornography. Yeah, it's a, pornography is a stench, you know. It really is. It's a foul stench. We have become desensitized because of so much sex. Sex sells everything. You know, the woman holding the monkey wrench, the tool in her hand, the monkey wrench, whatever it is, you know, uh, in a bikini. What does that have to do with snap-on tools or whatever tool they're trying to sell? It has absolutely nothing to do with it. But sex sells everything. But you know, statistics say about pornography, this is back in 2005, by the way, it's a $12.6 billion industry. Back in 2005, pornography, uh, child kitty porn was a $3 billion industry. That's kitty porn. Have you seen these children missing at the post office? All the pictures at Walmart, post office, missing children. You know, you really don't know what happens to these, you don't want to know what happens to these children. Hotel viewership for pornography uh, for adult films has gone up to 55%. You know, 50% of, listen to this one, 50% of Christian men say they are addicted to some kind of pornography. I mean, what is our world coming to? Should a Christian nation sell pornography? What do other countries think of us, Americans, degrading our women with this kind of raunchy filth? You can only imagine what it says. But you know, we have come to a point where, you know, you see these ads on television, Viagra, you know, <laughs> and the men get younger and younger. I mean, why does a 40 year old man need something to stimulate him? Why, why can a, a, you know, a 40 year old man, he can't get an erection, you know, so he needs some type of pill. What is going on? Does anybody ever stop? Has anybody got sense enough to stop and say, what is going on here? These men get younger and younger. They can't, well, let me tell you what's going on. We have become desensitized. We can't even get excited anymore because we are desensitized because sex is everywhere. It sells everything. It's on the billboard signs. You know, we, it's just, it's called becoming desensitized to something called sex. You don't believe it. You, you, don't, you don't believe me, do you? Okay, let me, let me. Give you a little test here. Go grab you a flower since it's, since it's springtime, a daffodil, a buttercup, a rose, whatever. Hold it up and smell it one time. Take a deep, deep breath of that fragrant. Oh, it's beautiful. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. After about the sixth or seventh time, that fragrant seems to vanish. Vanish. It goes. I mean, it's, you can't smell it anymore. You're thinking, well. It's, you know, it, it's, it's just, you know, you become desensitized to anything you have too much of when it, when it motivates every avenue of one's life. The movies, the theaters, the billboard signs, it sells every sex sells everything. We have become desensitized to sex. Amazing. How pathetic is that? It's pathetic, all right. Okay. So we've, we've, we've taken the greatest gift and we've somehow managed to destroy that. The greatest gift that God ever gave to mankind was woman. Oh, absolutely. Adam, look what I made for you. Eve, wow, man, this is wonderful. And we mess this up. We mess it up. I tell you, abject stupidity. It really, that's what it's coming to. You know, sin is stupid. If no one's told you that, sin is stupid. All right. Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.